exponentials dominating in the age of convergence. Part two, continuing in the introduction where part one left off. Here is one example. You need to be able to be, you used to be able to be a healthcare company without being an AI company. Those days are over already. Here is a question for you. Is Uber a transportation company or are they a logistics company masquerading as a transportation company? Or is Uber an AI company masquerading as a logistics company masquerading as a transportation company? And it gets more complex. Is Amazon an e-commerce company? Are they a cloud computing company? Is Amazon a hardware company? Maybe they are a logistics and delivery company. Media company? Artificial intelligence company? Robotics company? Drone company? You get the idea. Big tech is under siege. As I write this, Facebook is being sued by the FTC and over 40 state attorney generals. And, fa and Facebook built the world's largest And Ant Financial, I'm sorry, had the world's largest IPO thwarted, or at least delayed, when Jack Ma stepped on a few of the wrong toes. Yet, make no mistake, big tech is bigger and stronger than ever. Yes, the ever-increasing valuations are one important marker, but there is a lot more. Frankly, the pandemic accelerated the trend that small and medium-sized businesses increasingly cannot compete nor survive in this age of big tech. As, you're pro as you can probably see, a winner takes most has evolved into a winner takes almost all. Google is the only major search engine. Facebook is the only major social network. Apple has only Android as a, as a, phone, as a major phone competitor. Netflix has Amazon Prime as the only real threat, with Disney Plus also a player. And all the big tech companies are, are intruding on each other's turf with streaming and live streaming being one good example of that. Artificial intelligence, the internet of things, and smart devices, robotics, space travel and space colonization, autonomous and electrified travel, energy storage, blockchain, and decentralized finance, decentralized energy, quantum computing, nanotechnology. All of these things are increasingly acting and interacting with each other in fundamental ways. Welcome, my friend, to the age of convergence.